my name is Kevin Wensley and today I'm in Riviera Beach in beautiful sunny Florida. This is home of the Hylas Yachts International Year-Round Service Centre. Today I'm joined by my friend and colleague Christian Shaw, Service De Director for Hylas Yachts USA. Um, what we're hoping today is that Christian's going to give us some insights into this beautiful hardtop uh, bimini here on this Hylas 56. Well the first thing to keep in mind is that uh, um, when sailing very often you want some protection from the elements. But like anything, you can get too much of a good thing. This is the first hardtop to be designed specifically for Hylas Yachts by Herman Frayers, the yacht's designer. And can I just say, I think it looks great, and it works great. Uh, it really blends in with the lines of the boat itself. The benefits to selecting this option for your yacht includes structural integrity. So you say structural integrity. How would it hold up in a storm? Well, this will be good for hurricane force winds, so it's one less thing to worry about when you're thinking about storm preparation. Another strength-related benefit is that it has these nice handholds. Any sailing vessel underway is likely to be in continuous motion, and as the old adage goes, one hand for you, one hand for the boat. So these are great for transitioning in and out of the cockpit, not to mention you can use them to help climb on top in case... As I'm up here, you can see these guys have opted to install solar panels, another huge benefit for long-distance cruising. How much power do you think these guys will get? Certainly enough to power the boat at anchor. I think the exact wattage is about 1,000 watts uh, with this setup, probably a good bit more than they would ever need. The Dodger isn't actually integrated into the hardtop, which is what I might expect. Uh, any thoughts on that? That's certainly an option, but as a semi-custom builder, we tailor most things to what the owner wants. I actually like this arrangement. The last thing we want is to turn this into a pilot house with a fixed windshield. With this setup, we can adjust the ventilation. There is a removable connector between the dodger and the hardtop that allows some airflow. And when we are reaching along in the balmy trade winds, it's easy to just knock down the dodger and feel some wind in your hair. What about side protection? When temperatures do drop and the wind and spray is coming across the deck, what's going on in the cockpit? Like we have here, we can attach receiving channels for the bolt ropes and the canvas side panels all the way around that can be readily removed. As this downlighting is awesome too for keeping a cozy ambiance. Mm, no doubt there was a guitar and a warming beverage involved as well. Uh, what about maintenance? Actually, that's another way the hardtop option helps. As far as repair work is concerned, it will outlast any canvas equivalent for many years and it's super easy to clean. Well, now that you've walked all over the top, perhaps you'd like to demonstrate your skills with a hose. Well, thank you very much, Christian. That's been very helpful. Um, I'm sure folks will be interested to learn more of your insights. Perhaps next time we could talk a little bit about maybe some of the boat handling equipment, or perhaps we'll go down below and look at some of the systems. But uh, anyway, we're looking forward to telling folks all about these beautiful highness 63, 56, and plenty more on their way.